Hey everyone, welcome to the post-match press conference. Manager, I'll take your questions. Uh, we'll start with Per Carlson. Yes, hello, Ola. Hi. Uh, so only one shot on target tonight, and this is now the third nil-nil game in a row for you. Uh, do you have any explanation to what has happened with your with your goal scoring form recently, and, and and are you worried about the development? Of course, we're not happy if you uh, don't uh, create chances uh, enough to win a game. Of course, uh, it's been a week. Uh, with no goals and sometimes three games sounds a lot without scoring uh, of course we've not conceded either but a week in a season like this sometimes is uh, is yeah you just don't hit the form that you normally had and that you have had for uh, many many months so it's a bit of a worry of course it is uh, but I know that the boys are giving everything and that's the thing we we play every three days and I know they're giving everything they've got. So um, attitude and approach, I'm very happy with uh, the quality. We need to uh, get back to what we know we can do. Yeah. Ian Bolton. Ollie, hi. Um, look, with that last minute save, um, how much do you have Dean Henderson to thank for getting a point against Crystal Palace? And, and, and are the personal reasons that kept David De Gea out of this match are they likely to keep him out at the weekend against Manchester City uh, I can't really say how um, about David it's of course a private matter so uh, um, Dean is ready uh, if, if he uh, if he's called upon you saw that he kept his concentration I think maybe or what I've heard anyway he was probably been called uh, offside but at the moment I thought uh, that Dean saved us a point because it looked like that was a deciding moment and that was probably the biggest chance in the game. Maybe apart from Marcus's in the first half, yeah, there was a good play and Marcus just put it wide. That was a little moment that we felt we we could have, if we'd scored there, uh, that's the moment we were on top. Apart from that, it was a very, very uh, even game and hard fought game. Samuel Lockhurst. Early. You said how relentless the schedule is, and obviously Anthony was out injured tonight, but you left your third substitution unused. Is is that because, uh, I mean, some of the substitutes are too, are too inexperienced? I know Ahmad's very callow at the moment, but does it feel at the moment that you're lacking more bodies in, in attack? We had uh, Marcus out there, Mason out there, Bruno out there, Scotty came on to give us a goal thrust, and uh, he almost had a chance straight away. You put Dan on to for some pace, and uh, you know, with uh, with those out there, that, that's most most of our goals that we had. Of course, we had the uh, Shola or Ahmad, but um, which one uh, of them would you would you take off those five? So that that was my uh, quandary at the moment uh, in the last 10, 15 minutes. But I felt. Maybe Mason, Bruno, Marcus, that they could get a goal. Scotty and Dan actually had a chance each when they came on. Adrian Kajumba. Hi, Oli. Uh, there seems to be a, a lack of urgency just, just watching the game, maybe until late on. I just, I just wondered what, what you maybe put that down to. Uh, lack of urgency. Yeah, you can say urgency um, as a word. Of course, we just didn't have the quality and the, the, the tempo in the passing. You can call it urgency. It's um, we started slow, that's for sure. Uh, it's never, uh, never nice to see uh, the, the opposition to take the initiative. But we we got into the game and we played when we played with quality and tempo. We did create some chances, and but we didn't have enough of it. We didn't build enough pressure on the defenders or the keeper to make saves. James Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Um, Jurgen Klopp has said that Liverpool may not let Diogo Jota go away with Portugal because of the 10 day quarantine. H have you made a decision on whether to allow Bruno to go? Well, we've not uh, sat down and uh, made a proper uh, call on that one, but it doesn't make sense if you lose your player for 10 days uh, isolation. Uh, of course, it doesn't. We're, we're the ones uh, paying the players and uh, uh, from what I understand, uh, that's the rule. The FIFA have given the rules that uh, they don't have to be uh, re released. So 
I would think that that's uh, that's going to be a hard hard call to make to let them go and play in red list countries. Yeah, presumably yeah. down to you, you'd want him to stay. I'm guessing. And- I want Bruno, of course, uh, ready uh, against Brighton, and again, hopefully that we're through in uh, in Europe and against Tottenham uh, after that break. Of course, I do. Final question for Brad Cox. Hi, Ollie. Um, just wondering, Eric Bailly started tonight and he dealt with Christian Benteke quite well aerially. Um, Lindelof, is, was that just a decision for tonight to leave him out or is he being rested for Sunday against Man City? <laughs> no, Victor uh, struggled with his back. You know, when he, get, when he plays uh, on a Sunday night, that was a demanding game. He did really well. And I didn't want to play him if I didn't have to and Eric is more than capable and he's played really well and he's pl- played really well tonight as well uh, so decision on Sunday I'm, uh, I'm not giving you now um, so uh, uh, hopefully Victor's back is okay that he uh, he's had that rest that he, uh, he needs thanks everyone is that it? yeah done it's all uh, echo now so we're done Brilliant.